need to tell our folks where we are so they can come along with. So we're on another adventure and we have set off from, from the Drocket, which is down on the shore of Loch Ness, uh, back there. And we've just come out a few kilometres on the route already. And we're heading on uh, the, the Kintyre and Glen Affric. No, not Kintyre. No, I've got you started on that. We've ridden the Kintyre <laughs> way. This is not the Kintyre way. This is actually... The Glen Affric and Kintail way. Yes. Which recently was announced on Facebook as having had some refurbishments works complete. So we thought we would come out here and see what the trail is like for bike packing, and yeah, see what opportunities it affords us. And it's going to be a bit chilly tonight, I think. <laughs> uh, we're, we're into that cusp of autumn into winter. Best time to be out though. Uh, yeah. This is fantastic. Colours are amazing, and no midges. And oh yeah, yeah. I think. Summer bike packing is fine, but autumn and spring and winter is where it's at, really. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh wow Well so far how is the Glen Affric to Kintail Trail? Oh it's a great trail, really really good surface, beautiful views yeah. There's some new sections which don't quite align with the Ordnance Survey maps which we'll point out in a little attachment but the new track, there's a tremendous amount of work has clearly been done there's a brilliant uh, surface down, really good pedalling. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, uh, and it takes it. us off of the old route, which would have been on one of the roads. So yeah, that's a, a really great amount of work done. Um, some good tight climbs at the start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did get warmed up at the beginning, but there isn't actually too much climbing on the route no. overall. Um, it's been nice and flowy, and uh, really lovely so far. for a little deviation for an explorer. Do you want to go see? Yeah, sure. Oh, maybe in my youth. Right. To be honest, I don't see any standing stones now. <laughs> maybe the... Maybe the symbol was just for like site of scientific interest or historic interest. You can see why someone would have had a camp here. 
Absolutely beautiful. Too early to come? Probably. Yeah. There is a lot of stone here. There must have been a building of some kind. It's about the worst of sunset I think we're going to get. That is definitely a little spooky in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. You choose. Is that so there's no blame? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this is marital tent pitching. <laughs> I have to have a get out clause. <laughs> Top tips you chose. There aren't so many uh, other marital bike packing couples. couples making, recording their debate. <laughs> <laughs> there might, there might be well, some that are. If there's any out there, let us know. <laughs> How do you get on? What is your worst marital tent tantrum? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, this is day two. Um, Keith thinks this is still a bit of a silly time to be getting up, so he's in the tent there, but um, I'm gonna get up and get some porridge on. We did have a good night last night. Um, not a breath of wind, nice and peaceful up here, not a soul to disturb us. So hopefully we'll get a nice early start and um, be able to make some good ground today. So Lindsay was up first this morning. I did get out of bed eventually. But I had breakfast in bed, which is quite the luxury when you're bikepacking. This is our little area where we stopped in off the track. Really handy and lovely little viewpoint this morning. We're going to head up to it as a wee trail here. It's the official viewpoint. But we've got our own little mini one. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. And this is our view and Loch Afric. Look at the um, snow on the peaks up there at the back. Can you see that? We'll zoom in a little bit. So we're going to head up to the viewpoint and we'll try and get little aerial shots. And then we're going to head on up south side of Loch Afric, heading out towards Morvik or the end of the Glen Afric and Kintail Way. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs>
Oh, Lindsay, you need to come over. We just had to stop here. Here is your full dose of autumn right there. Look at those colours. Just look at that. It's a little cool mist just on top of the surface of the water by the bridge back there. I mean, just follow this around. Breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking, absolutely beautiful. To be here just discussing, Lindsay and I earlier on, we were riding along to be at this season of autumn where you've got all this colour and you also will, are treated to these white tops it's just spectacular it's like the best of both worlds of winter and autumn because as we progress into December, January we'll lose a lot of this colour in the trees and the foliage we'll still have the white tops it might not just be white on the top <laughs> going by past adventures but this is a very special time of year I think it's possibly Scotland at its most beautiful <laughs> I got your flattering side <laughs> yeah but I, you know you're probably not supposed to be leaping over fences <laughs> You're doing it at the post. I, I am taking care, yeah, at the post. <laughs> There's no evidence of me doing it though, is there? <laughs> this is where it's very easy to ride off the track because you're so busy looking at all of that. Oh. I'm amazed we haven't been here before, it's a little gem.
This is one of the best bike packing routes that we've done in Scotland. Absolutely, no doubt. This is the Glenafric Youth Hostel, but as you probably expect, at this time of year it's just been boarded up. So, uh, there isn't a right lot of people about, although there are lots of bikes, so I think people have maybe just gone for their walks up into the hills and use this as a place to drop off. Look like a suitable lunch spot for you. That'll be just messy. Fantastic. What a view. Lindsay sandwiches have a bit of a reputation. This is a fine example of quite a significant sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> well, half a block of cheese and uh, a jar half of pickle. Half, half a jar of pickle. Yeah. It's quite deep. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Take two. So it's fair to say, after the youth hostel, the track gets a bit rougher. Start doing the, the North Shield, the South Shield lift. Yeah. If you drop the road, oh, somewhere out right here on this rough track. Then we get to Glen Licht House. Oh, yeah. And then the track back, double track. So that will take us to the end in Morbeck. Glenafric and Kintyre Way has without a doubt been a fantastic bike packing ride but it does come with a catch and that is this last section 
and it is rock hard. Just look at this for a descent. I don't fancy coming back up it. <laughs> it's the only thing. And it might be a point where we say the Kintyre to... No, it's not Kintyre, the Glen Affric to... Kintail Way is a east to west trail because you do not want to be hiker biking up here, I don't think. So, glad we, we decided to do it this way by luck. Hang around here for too long. It's a cheeky little one, this Glen African Tailway. Lures you in with some beautiful forest road. Some stunning new trails that they've developed and excellent core paths. And then beats you with a stick for the last 8K towards the finish. It's a rough as toast. And it's fair to say, you wouldn't try and do in the other direction. There's a bothy down there, hopefully, with a flat patch of grass beside it where we're going to make camp. We've got an hour and a half till it's darkness. We do want to be up here having to try and do this with torches. Absolutely outstanding scenery and really kind of raw and epic environment. And I still would if you're a hardy soul and you don't mind the physicality of lifting your bike and all the rocks and things. I would definitely recommend it but yeah definitely lures you in it's not as easy as it first looks Nearly dinner time. Lindsay's got cracking and got cooking. Oh, oh, what's this? Do you have all the cheese? <laughs> I had crackers and no cheese. I have all the cheese. Uh, a piece of cheese. Yeah, I like my cheese. And we've got some chili oat cakes, camembert, and I'm not in my sleeping bag tonight for tea, I'm dining out. But I have got my meal pouch in there, giving me a little warm up camembert and a mountain view. Little starter. This is the life. Get away from the office. Get rid of all the stress. Forget everything. You can't think about anything when you're going down those rocks. And just enjoy this nature and wild places. It's the key to getting outdoors. Good morning. It is day three. We're just a short distance from the end of the Glenafric Kintail Way. 
uh, it's got a bit windy overnight and it's quite chilly as a result. Lindsay is out on the stove and the sky is quite fantastic. Good morning. <laughs> this is the story of a windy breakfast. <laughs> it's a bit blowy out there and it's cooling down our food too much so we're sheltering in here yeah. for breakfast yeah. this morning. Normally we quite like looking out at the views but not today. So I'm trying to capture a wee shot for the video. I haven't got a tripod with me at all, but I'm using the phone to try and capture a long exposure of the sun just hitting these tops. And I managed to jam the phone between my exposure light holder and the uh, bar on a time lapse looking out. Let's see what result we get. This morning from our campsite and then uh, on the double track straight down to Morvik which is the finish and then we need to find our way back to drum the rocket. Back on the double track. That's quite a relief.
we're done. Doors are frozen shut.